So in this problem, we're told to find f, and we're told that f to the prime of x is equal to 24x squared plus 2x plus 8. f of 1 is equal to 4, f prime of 1 is equal to minus 3. Let's just start by writing out our function. So f to the prime of x is equal to 24x squared plus 2x plus 8. So we're trying to find f of x. So what we got to do is take the antiderivative of this. That'll become f prime of x, and then take the antiderivative of that, and it'll become f of x. So let's find the antiderivative of this. So the antiderivative of 24 times x squared, um, this is going to become x cubed over 3 times 24. So that's just going to become 24 times x cubed over 3, which will become 8x cubed. So now that we have the first part, let's do this part. So 2x, find the antiderivative of that. Uh, the x is going to become x squared over 2, and we multiply it by 2. So it's just going to become x squared. Then the antiderivative of a constant is just that constant times our variable, x. Then we got to add plus c at the end whenever we take the antiderivative of something. So now let's do this. So we got to find the antiderivative of this. So 8x cubed is going to become, well, x cubed, the antiderivative of it, derivative of it is x to the fourth over 4. We add 1, and then that's going to become our new exponent. And our um, we divide by but we multiply by 8, so it's going to become 2x to the 4, because 8 over 4 is 2. So we have um, 2x to the 4th, plus, and then we got to find the answer, antiderivative of x squared, which is going to become x cubed over 3, because we add 1 to the 2 and then divide by it, so x cubed over 3. And then we got to find the antiderivative of 8x, so x the antiderivative of it is x squared over 2, then we multiply by 8, so it's going to become 4x squared. And then the antiderivative of c is just going to become tx because it's a constant. We multiply by our variable, then we have plus d. And we always got to have a constant added at the end whenever we take the antiderivative of something. So now that we got this, we're just going to use these numbers to solve for c and d. So let's do that. So let's start here with f prime of 1 is equal to minus 3. So we're going to use this equation, f prime of x. So minus 3 is going to be equal to, we plug in 1 for everything. So 8 times 1 cubed, which is 8, plus 1 squared, which is 1, plus 8 times 1, which is 8, plus c. So 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17. So minus 3 is going to be equal to 17 plus c. Be minus 17 from both sides. We'll get minus 20 equals c. So now that we know that, so now we know uh, c equals minus 20. C equals minus 20. And then now we're going to use f of 1 equals 4 to solve for d. So f of x, which equals 4, is going to be equal to, we plug in 1 for x. So 1 to the 4th is 1, times 2 is 2, plus uh, we plug in 1. So 1 cubed over 3 is 1 over 3. Plus 4 times 1 squared is just 1, or 1 squared is 1 times 4 is 4. Plus c, c is minus 20 times 1, so it's minus 20, so um, that becomes minus 20, and then plus d. Then let's combine stuff. So 4 equals, let's add our 2, our 4, and our minus 20, and I'll leave the 1 third because it's in fractions. So 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 20 is minus 14. We have minus 14 plus 1 over 3. Uh, plus d equals 4. We plus 14 to both sides. Get that 18 is equal to 1 over 3 plus d. And then if we want to put 18 um, over 3, or we want to like make it or change it up so it's over 3, it'll become 54 divided by 3 is equal to 1 over 3 plus d. If we minus 1 over 3, it's going to become 53 over d, or 53 over 3. And that's going to be equal to d. So d equals 53 over 3. And now that we got these numbers, we can just plug it into this function, and that's going to be our answer. So f of x is going to be equal to 2x to the fourth plus x cubed over 3 plus 4x squared, and then plus cx, and c is minus 20, so it's going to become minus 20x plus d. And d is going to be 53 over 3. So this right here is going to be the answer to this question.